Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Oluwashi Alade Art. Today we're reading The Smartest Giant in Town by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Axel Schefter. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes, so he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, some smart socks with diamonds up the sides, and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now I'm the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the pavement stood a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a long, warm scarf. Cheer up, said George. And he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, he said, as he wound it round and round the giraffe's neck. It made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giraffe. Everyone's looking at George. As George strode towards home, he sang to himself, My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe, but look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleating loudly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming and talked anyway, he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. <laughs> Thank you, said the goat. George strode on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a gold giraffe. My shirt's on the boat as a self for a goat. But look me up and down, I'm the smarter giant in town. George came to a tiny ruined house. Beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mouse, mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. squeaked the mother mouse. It burned down and now we have nowhere to go. I wish we had a nice new house. Cheer up, said George. And he took off one of his shiny shoes. It was given me the blisters anyway he said, as the mouse and her baby scrambled inside. 
the shoe made a perfect home for them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, they squeaked. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself. My tie is a scuff for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little red mouse. Look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag, said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his socks with diamonds up the sides. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said, as the fox snuggled into it. It made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. George hopped on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a gold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat that's a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. I look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a big squelchy bog. Beside the bog stood a dog who was howling. What's the matter? asked George. It's this bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his smart new belt. It was squashing my tummy anyway, he said, as he laid it down over the bug. It made an excellent patch. Thank you, said the dog. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf of a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for gold. My shoe is a house for a little red mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped the dog who was crossing a bug. But... Um, my trousers are falling down. I'm the coldest giant in town. Suddenly, George felt sad and shivery and not at all smart. He stood on one foot and thought, I'll have to go back to the shop and buy some more clothes, he decided. He turned round and hopped all the way back to the shop. Hop, 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 hop. But when he got there, it was closed. Oh no. Oh no, cried George. He sank down onto the doorstep and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals he had met on his way home. Then out of the corner of his eye, he saw a bag with something familiar poking out of the top. George took a closer look. My gown! he yelled. 
my dear old gown and sandals. George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the coziest giant in town, he cried and danced back home along the road. Outside his front door stood all the animals he had helped. They were carrying an enormous present. Come on, George, they said. Open it, open it, open it, <laughs> open it. George untied the ribbon. Inside was a beautiful gold paper crown. Paper crown and a card. Look inside the card, George. Look inside the card, George. Look inside the card, George, said the animals. George put the crown on his head and opened the card. Inside it read, Your tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. Your shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. Your belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. So here is a very fine crown to go with the sandals and gown of the kindest giant in town. The end. I'm sure you enjoyed what we read aloud today. The smartest giant in town. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye!